Yeah, well, it's me again. Yeah, what can I say? I want a new damn thing and I'm an, I'm an addict of it. Sometimes when you have a message to say, you can say it. Other times when you don't have a message, it still gnaws at you that you have to say it to people because they're not listening. I'm not paying attention to what's going on. So I suppose I'm going to have to do things the hard way at this point over here to get people's attention that there are things happening in this world that means a damn. We're going to go through the damn introductions again. We were John C., Rosemary, California, 925 in the morning, July 1st, 2020, yada, yada, yada. Enjoy that? Okay, good. Get out of the way. The news agencies are still trying to figure out what does Sam Hill happen to California? We had a curve going down. We had a gradient going down a bit. We were getting a handle on it. We got lazy. We got lazy in everything. So at this point, we're showing everybody that we think we can handle it, and then we didn't handle it because we're seeing cases going into the hospital more and more. The ICU beds are filling up again. No wonder the European Union wants America away from them as much as possible. No wonder each other states are having issues with us. New York, when it looks at California, even Connecticut and New Jersey, they're like, Pack off! You're from California! Pack! Pack! And we're like, <laughs> Sorry, I finished up a little bit of breakfast this morning. No, I'm not one of those usual guys that blathers off at the mouth and say, well, I'm this person here and I'm saying this. Yeah, I I am what I am right now as it is. If I say things, if I do things gross, that's me. Deal with it. I'm on camera. It's not a performance. It's just makes me feel uncomfortable being on camera talking like this. I mean, if I was still on a audio recording at this point over here, I can be myself and I can relax. But on a video, I have to express my opinions at this point over here. Why? Because I need to. Nobody else listens. Nobody else wants to listen. Nobody else wants to understand what's going on. They all want to be stuck in their heads to the sand. The proverbial cartoon character or caricature have been around for decades. Whenever you don't like a problem, you stick your head in the sand like a damn ostrich. Regular ostriches don't do that. They run away from the damn problems. Or otherwise, you've got the strong legs to fight back. Sometimes they can be mean. Well, there's no way of being mean against the damn virus except being compliant at this point over here. Ah, I mentioned the seward. Comply, comply it. No. What does this mean? You are demonstrating something that my civil liberties can't deal with. Go away. I have to comply. I have to conform. I have to be something other than an American. Oh, I'm sorry. American. American? No. No. More caricatures of people we keep running into left and right. Excuse me, I need to get me an AR-15 over here. I'm just going to tone it around over here and say, All right, you got a problem with the, with, a, with the AR-15? I got COVID virus. You want a problem with me? Oh, you got the COVID-19 as well. Well, just get away from me. You're protesting and you got a COVID-19. You're protesting what? I don't care. I'm seeing too many idiots on videos, on news, regarding carrying guns. Sometimes protesters have to get a brain in their bodies of where they can and where they cannot. Especially when they're trying to reach people they're, they're, they're trying to get a message to. A mayor or a governor hiding in an area with a lot of roadblocks. Give me one second. 
Much apologies at this point over here, walking the dog and seeing what's going on CNN at this point over here when they're talking about Russian bounty allegations and the president doesn't say anything about it. COVID spikes are continuing. He doesn't say anything about it. People need to wear masks and he's really out of it. He's so out of it, he's not even promoting it. Nowhere he goes will be wearing a mask, except of those who wish to do so. He'll you know, consider them un-American anyway, and unimportant. Let's show them America. Actually, to show America, not America. You know, there's a big difference between America and America. It's called the letter. It's called capital A. When we started the country off, we put a capital A in it. Where the hell did we start dropping off the A? Does this tell us we're a people or we're not a people at this point? Over here? With everything happening these days, it's surprising that we've got so much chaos and confusion. Are we actually going to be able to survive this country? I don't know. I really don't know. And we're still going to have to fight our way through all this. I wanted to talk about COVID as well. I said before, the spikes are going crazy, especially in California. When we get lazy, when we want to get into ourselves, when we wanted to do for ourselves at this point over here, of saying that we're going to show our patriotism, we're going to show what we are like Americans, we're going to wear no masks at this point over here. But well, maybe if we do wear a mask, maybe they'll be bicentennial. Well, why not? We're desecrating the, uh, the flag one way or another. Might as well show our patriotism in our face masks. Mm -hmm. But if you don't show your patriotism with, while wearing a face mask, you probably think to yourself, well, I'm still American, so I'm not going to do it. I don't get it because right now, health and prosperity are in jeopardy and in danger because of this damn bug, and we're not doing everything we can to preserve it. If we can get a handle on this damn bug, we can get our prosperity going again. But there have to be guidelines, there have to be behaviors we still have to adhere to for a, short, for a time. Maybe a couple of years, maybe three or four, I don't know. Even the scientists have no clue, they're still learning more about this damn bug. And the politicians hijack the thing for their own political messages. The only thing I can say is, listen to the medical establishment, they're still trying to figure this bug out. There is no easy answers for any of this, except for social distancing, wearing a mask, and staying home if you have to, but if you work, social distancing and wearing a mask, and clean your area constantly if you have to, and wash your hands. Make sure you don't have the bug on you. It's the only thing I can say at this point over here. I mean, our health and our own wealth and our prosperity is always at stake at this point, and now it's even further. So if we can't take care of ourselves, what the hell can we take care of? I'm more concerned about the health and well, mental health and well-being of my dog right now regarding fireworks. That's another video ranting right there. But I just wanted to get some stuff off my chest at this point over here. I was thinking more and more things to say while I was outside walking my dog. And what happens when you get CRS going? The things I need to say are most important are usually fade away at this point over here. And I have to watch the news to see what the Sam Hill is going so it can remind me of what needs to be done and what we haven't been doing at this point. We have a great country. We have a great country at this point over here. I saw a state senator talking on one of the news agencies. I was taking on CNN regarding how we screwed up on the COVID. And he brings up patriotism at this point over here. I'm like, why? That's a medical situation. Do not bring politics in a medical situation unless you're a politician who is trying to get his butt on the air and trying to make political points. This is a medical situation we all have to focus and face. This is not Republican versus Democrat versus God knows what else. This 
is important that we have to deal with right now, this year. And if we can't deal with it, we're really screwed.